All right, now let's create a bus track and set up some reverb sends. So I'm going to go to multi-track, tracks, and we're looking for add stereo bus track. That's the shortcut Alt B. That's going to pop in right there. I'm going to move it um, to the end of my sound effects. I actually want it right there. And I'm going to rename that to reverb. Now up here for the effects, I'm going to grab a reverb and I'm going to go for the convolution reverb and I'm going to choose the preset hall. And that's just going to give me kind of a nice all purpose trailer reverb. And the purpose here is to just kind of give these sounds some space. So now over here in this section right here, just under the effects, that's where it says S1, this is the send area. And what this lets us do is this lets us send some signal uh, to another bus track um, while also sending the main signal to the mix track. So we've got all of the signal heading to the mix track, but we can also send uh, some of that signal as well to this track and apply a bit of reverb to it. So to do that, we're going to go over here to, let's say, maybe the sound effects far. We'll do that one first. And right here under the send, right now it's set to none, and I'm going to change that to reverb. And now this uh, dial right here is going to determine how much of that sound uh, gets sent to the reverb. So if I want like a nice kind of full reverb here, I can turn this up to uh, zero, which would represent, um, you know, sending level signal on minus 0.6. That's, that's fine. So that's going to send some signal over here to the reverb. And if I come back here to my trailer area and I bring in a sound, I'm going to just bring in kind of a jump sound right there. And we'll solo that in this track so that we can hear what's on it. Oops, let's move that up there. All right, so we got a sound like that. So if I turn on my uh, loop, so if I make a just a little loop selection here using I and O, just like we'd have in Premiere, and I turn on my loop function. I'm going to extend that out. All right now, if we go over to the mixer, we can see as this signal is happening here, and that's heading out to the mix, we're also getting some signal sent over here to the reverb channel. And that's giving us this kind of nice reverb tail. So uh, we can turn that off. And you can notice how much more present it sounds. It sounds kind of close up front. Turn the reverb back on. Cool. Now it's important to note that when you're using this effect as a send, we want to make sure that the mix is at a 100% wet. So that's all we want to hear is just the wet side of the signal. We're not as interested in hearing um, uh, the dry signal here because that's already coming through from this channel so it's the combination of both of those so now what we can do to kind of get some space now in our mix is that we can change the positioning uh, or sorry rather we can change the positioning of the sound by how much signal we're sending so for instance i'm sending a lot of signal here if i send maybe uh minus 10 db uh, here so now I can switch this to reverb so I'm going to be sending as well but now I'm going to set this to minus 10 or so so I'm sending less of this signal so if I move uh, our sound up here let's zoom that out I can bring this in now let's listen to our sound on this track compared to that. We're still getting signal over here on the reverb channel, just not nearly as much, so we're not getting as much of an effect. Now that's pretty dramatic, so I don't know if we want to go all that way, so I think we can actually turn this up to maybe something like minus 6.6. Six. Now on this channel here, I'll, pause, I'll stop it so that we can make adjustments. On this channel here, I'll set this to reverb as well, and I'll turn this one up to maybe somewhere around minus 12. 
So sounds that we want close, we're going to send a, a little bit of signal to the reverb, still giving us most of the main sound. Sounds that are medium get a little bit more, and sounds that are farthest away will get the maximum amount of reverb. So we can position our sound, our our, our sounds uh, in the in the front to back space, as well as the left to right space uh, in the mix.